All right, guy here with another retro video game pickup video. I'm gonna get right into it because I got a huge haul from my trip to book off on Friday. So, yeah, uh, I got really lucky. Uh, somebody must have just came in and unloaded their entire NES collection or something because I got a lot of great games for cheap prices. I will start off with some controllers that I got. You can never have too many controllers, especially at this price. This is way cheaper than they go for on eBay. Five bucks for a Super Nintendo controller is is outrageous. Um, and it, it needs to be cleaned a little bit. It's it's got a it's got a little bit of gunk on it, but uh, it's nothing. There's no like major scratches or anything. It it I, it looks fine. Uh, so yeah, that'll be a backup controller to the two I already have, or if I want to play a multi-tap game or something. So yeah, Super Nintendo controller, five bucks, not bad. This one, I was I was shocked. This was also five dollars, Sega Genesis controller. It looks brand new. It looks like it's never been used before. Actually, I'll just go ahead and open it. Actually, never mind, it's all taped up. But anyway, if you, let's see if that'll focus. If you look at the plug, it looks like it's never been inserted into a, a Genesis controller port before. And the controller itself is, is like flawless. The, the buttons have no, none of the little scrape marks on the side. There's no dirt, there's no anything. I don't think this was ever used before. So I was really excited to get that for five bucks. Even though I already have, I think, like four or five Genesis controllers. I don't know, I'll probably set this one aside for the future and then, you know, when I'm old and gray, I can pull out a fresh new Genesis controller and play some Sonic 2 or something. All right, enough of that. Time to get into the games. I will start off with the two PlayStation 1 games I got. Again, continuing the trend from last week shitty PlayStation games that I love and am obsessed with for some strange reason. G Police Weapons of Justice. I've never I never played this and actually I've never even heard of this game. I've heard of the first G Police. I played it quite a bit and I liked it. It, it, it had a certain kind of uh, early like CD era mood to it. I don't know if that makes any sense but it, it reminded me a lot of like Wing Commander almost. So yeah this is the sequel. Uh, I've never heard of it, looking forward to trying it out. The front, I don't think they could have made this any more generic. <laughs> just just two random G police on the cover with kind of a flying thing. Not not the best cover ever. There's the back. Maximum firepower, zero tolerance. I always like the one line the marketing department puts on the back of the of the game cases. There's the inside. Oh, look at that. That sucks. I didn't even realize that. Uh, advertisement for Wipeout 3, which I also have on PlayStation, actually. There's the disc. Again, really generic disc. And there's the inside. So yeah, G Police, the sequel, Weapons of Justice. With a broken-ass case. Looking forward to trying that out. Next up, NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. Shaquille O'Neal on the cover. This is one of my favorite basketball games of all time. I used to have the arcade board, and uh, the arcade machine actually, but I sold it when I got my, my Beatmania 2DX. Uh, yeah, one of the best basketball games of all time. Uh, the PlayStation version is looks terrible. It's It's got, like the textures are so poor, you can't even make out the, na the, the team name on the front of the jerseys. It's really bad. But it still plays exactly like the arcade. A little, little bit slower, I think the frame rate's less. But uh, it's still a ridiculously fun game. There's the back. It's got that iconic NBA on NBC theme song, the Round Ball Rock by John Tesh. This game is awesome. The Dreamcast version was a lot better. Uh, and I have that somewhere around here. I have no idea where it is. But yeah, there's inside just the logo. Some companies get really lazy with the inside graphics, but whatever. Yeah, five bucks for that. Couldn't pass that up. Great game. Now on to my NES pickups. A lot of them will stack them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight NES games. Five bucks each. Uh, I had a coupon also, which was great. 10% off. So, pay a little bit less than five bucks. Jump right in. Uh, Crystallis for the NES. 
I've actually, I never, I, I've never heard of this game. I only picked it up because it was SNK, and I, actually off the top of my head, I can't even really think of any other SNK games for the NES. So I had to pick it up, and the cover is great. It's got like a, a, a weird guy in the forest fighting a giant eyeball with spider legs and some sort of werewolf creature and a rock monster. He is definitely outnumbered. He's got that, that tiny sword that is barely bigger than his head and a little shield. But will he prevail? I don't know. So I, I looked up this game when I got home and it looks really cool. It's a, it's like a, it's almost like a Zelda style game, uh, RPG, overhead view, but the battles are, are real time like Zelda, like Legend of Zelda. And it looks good. It had, it had really, it had really good graphics and, and like speed for, for its time from what I could tell. So I'm looking forward to playing that. Next game, uh, classic Bionic Commando by Capcom for NES. Classic game, no doubt. Um, in my opinion, though, it does not hold up well. It's it's still fun, but just once you get past the first level, the level design is just it's just not that great. I don't know. I, I I hope I don't piss off anybody by saying that, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't hold up that well. Still fun, but yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna play this, but I like the little a new breed of hero. All the arcade action. Bionic Commando NES. This one, DuckTales. This this does hold up quite well, and the, the moon level background music is, in my opinion, one of the greatest video game tunes of all time. I was surprised that this was so cheap at Book Off, because usually they're on top of pricing their games, similar to what they appear on eBay, and this goes between $10 and $20 from what I've seen. Uh, but they had this marked for 5 bucks. So that was a no-brainer. I picked this up, DuckTales, loved the game, had it when I was a kid, played it all the time. But, like I mentioned in my past videos, my childhood game collection is mostly gone. I, I have very few games from when I was a kid, so that's why I collect games now, because I'm trying to get what all, all I had when I was a kid back. Super Mario Bros. 3, really, what can I say about this game? All-time classic, one of the best games ever, still holds up really well. Not much, much else to say. Picked it up, no-brainer. Uh, Castle Quest. This, I played a couple of times when I was a kid. It's it's very arcade-y. It, it, it feels like it would be right at home in an arcade. You, you're in these little rooms and you kill snakes and things and then you collect a key and then you unlock the next level. So it's like one screen, uh, like one screen per a level and you move on. I'm, not, I'm, I'm terrible at describing this game, but yeah, um, it's okay. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have picked this up for any more than five bucks, but uh, it was there, so I grabbed it. American Gladiators, th this, game, this game is terrible. It sucks. It's, 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 it's one of those NES games that's really hard also. It, really unforgiving. Like You have to basically play through the different events perfectly in order to pass it. Especially like, I remember the wall being especially tough. You have to mash A and B and then steer with the D-pad and climb up the wall if you remember it from the TV show. So yeah, not very good game, but I had it as a kid because this was one of those games, I don't know if you guys had this, but it was one of those games I got from like a relative that was a little bit older and they needed to get me a birthday or Christmas gift and so they went to wherever, and this was probably on sale for super cheap, and they're like, guy likes games, let's get him this one. And that's how I got it. You know, obviously I was grateful for it as a kid, because any game would do when you would get, you know, one a year. But uh, yeah, it's not very good, but I had to, to re-add it to my collection. American Gladiators. Akari Warriors, uh, just like Bionic Commando. Oh, this is SNK also. So what I said earlier was completely idiotic because Ikari Warriors, I forgot about it. Um, I said I don't remember any other SNK games on NES, and here's one right here, which is one of the most popular NES games ever, so I'm an idiot. But anyway, Ikari Warriors, like Bionic Commando, does not hold up well. It's, uh, it, it's also unforgiving, hard. The levels, I remember, just being so long, like, just to get through from the beginning to end. And if you play by yourself, I think it was a lot harder than if you play with a friend. But, you know, whatever. I love the cover, and it is one of the classics, so had to add it to my collection. 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, another game that is not very good, but this one at least has a certain charm to it. Like, it's not so bad that I would never want to play it again. It's just really hard and I guess loosely based on the turtles also. Because, you know, their last level is like the Technodrome, but other than that, really, it's just a side-scrolling platformer where the characters happen to be Ninja Turtles and happen to have, like, the bow and the nunchucks and whatever. So, uh, still a good game. And, uh, I mean, I still love the Ninja Turtles, so, yeah, this was, this was an obvious, an obvious, uh, must-have for my collection. So anyway, that's it. That's, that's the games I picked up at Book Off, another successful trip. And because I was so lucky this time, I will probably be unlucky for the next, like, 20 trips to Book Off or the thrift store. But, hey, whatever. I'll, I'll take what I can get. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you disagree with me about some of these games being overrated or not aging well? Let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll, we'll chat about it. All right, thanks a lot for watching.